Hello, welcome back guys. Welcome back to a brand new video of a mighty ghost hack of YouTube channel. So guys in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can configure the Angular project to use the external environment file. So you don't need to build your project every time. Whenever there are changes occurs in the environment file. And here you can see. I already write a complete post on this topic. You can refer this post also. I will provide the link in the description. So for the demonstration. I will follow the blog instruction which I wrote. So first we have to create a new project. Once the building of the project is complete, we have to run also. So for that copy this command and enter into the terminal. Till then wait until complete. Let's move into the project directory. So here you can see after creating and running the project first time, you will land into the Angular basic template page, as same shown in this post as well. So first and foremost for the demonstration purpose, I will make the project name dynamically. For that I will keep the project name value under the environment files. So make it dynamically by adding it into environment files. As you can see in this screenshot. First, we have to add the project name in the environment files. Now I'm going to make the project name dynamically. Now I'm adding the project name variable. So that we can refer this in the entire project. Also adding in the production environment. Now let's make the changes in app components and provide environment variable value as below shown in the code snippet. So first let me import the environment file path. Now I'm going to assign the environment project name variable into this title variable. Now we have refer this created variable in the app component. So we have successfully added the project name dynamically. So far we are complete step 1 also. Let move towards step 2. In step 2 we have to create an external JS file, which is gonna mainly use as a single environment file in our project. So let's create an external JS file inside of the SRC directory. Now copy this piece of code into the file. And here you can see project name variable is added. You can add multiple variables also as much you want. But the writing manner must be the same.
Next, we have to include this file in index.html. And add this inside of the head tag. So right now looks into the website. Let's see it is giving any error or not. For that, we need to open its console tab. So right now it is giving a 404 file not found an error. To resolve this we have to rebuild the project. Wait until we rebuild the project. Right now at least it's looking for its path. But still, the error is not resolved. So for that we have to add the end file path into the Angular JSON file. Again we have to rebuild the project and check. So wait until project rebuilding is finished. Now the NJS file is successfully linked. So we can move further. Now we have to build the project for production. And check and file appear in the build folder or not. So wait until build the project. So here you can see the end file is present. So far we are done. Let's move to the next step. Now we have to create an end service file and its provider also. We need to register the provider with the angular module.ds file. In the first place, we have to create an end service file. So simply copy and enter this command. Also we will create end service under the app folder. And here I am mentioned service because I want it to create under the service folder. This is just for simplicity. So it's created successfully. Here you can see under the service folder environment service file is created. Now we will add the same variable with a different value. And it is necessary to keep the variable name the same and JS file variable.
Now we will create a service provider manually. We are creating manually because it's not included in the Angular CLI command. Now copy the exact code from here and paste it into the provider file. So creating a service file and its provider part is done. Let's jump over the last step which only consists integration part. So first we will register the provider file under the app module file. So let me import it first. And lastly, I will keep it under Provider Array. Now the last step is to replace the environment file with environment service. Now create its instance and replace it with another variable. So that's integration part is also done. And here project title is shown from the external MJS file. Here you can see this. Also, try to change this variable value unless it is reflecting over the project or not. Yes, it is working fine. Now let's check it's working or not after the build. So let me build the project. and wait until it finishes. So it is done. Now run the build project. Let's make a change into the project name variable and see it's working or not. Also, we need to restart the server. Right now it is not reflecting but the value is changed successfully. This is happening because the browser store the data in cache. So instead of clear the cache I will show you the change value. On the iCognito browser. Right now you can see value is changed successfully. Let's compare with other one and you can see the different value. So this is it for this video hope you enjoy it. And comment out below your query. Till then bye.